Well, hey there, guys. Welcome back to the Houston Kilby YouTube channel, and I'm Houston Kilby. Uh, today, we're going to be working on the Jeep Scrambler build and doing a lot of talking about the master cylinder. I'm sure you guys saw in the title there how to install a master cylinder. Uh, there's several different ways of doing this. Uh, we have now mounted a couple in a couple different ways. I've mounted them on the firewall. I've mounted them in the floorboard before. I've mounted them on the firewall, but way down low. I've done that as well. You guys can see that on the GTO build. You can look back at some of the build episodes on that and you can see that. There are several different ways of doing this. I'm not gonna sit back here and say, hey, this is the right way, this is the wrong way, this is the only way you can do it. I'm just gonna show you guys some successes that I've had on how that I've mounted them on several different builds and uh, some things that I've learned on there. But uh, let's get into the episode here and let's talk about installing a master cylinder. Okay guys and gals, let's talk about how I've got this master cylinder mounted here. Um, we mounted this thing on the outside of the firewall. You guys have to kind of just imagine that right here at these body plates, there's gonna be a firewall right here. These pedals are all gonna be inside of the cab. Um, right now we've got the body removed so we can get to a lot of this stuff and weld up real easy right here. But uh, the way that I like to do this and what I've found to be kind of successful here is if you're gonna be welding tabs onto a chassis, and that's what we're doing here in this situation. You kind of want a very, very beefy uh, base to work with. I like working with quarter inch on, on this particular situation. I know a lot of guys will use eighth inch on this. And I actually did eighth inch on my GTO. And I had to put a ton of bracing in it. And at the end of the day, if I just went with a quarter inch piece, I, I wouldn't have to put as much bracing in it to keep it from bending. Believe it or not, with the amount of pressure that's gonna be coming from the pedal, from your foot, if you only put a plate right here, even a quarter inch plate, the amount of pressure you're putting on it, you will actually bend the master cylinder away from the pedal and it'll actually start affecting your brakes and it could possibly break it off right here at the weld, depending on what type of weld you got on it. Um, so that being said, the type of master cylinders I like to use is the tops that's got the bolt holes either at the front or at the rear. I normally just use the one up here at the front and then put our flange back here at the back. Uh, the reason for this, I can throw a 3 8 bolt in it and we can put us just a standard tab on the side of it, either or side, it works out really well and you can make this thing super strong. I mean, I'm shaking it so hard, just this piece shakes here, not down here at the bottom where it's mounted in. You want it to be very strong so you can stomp the heck out of the brakes there. Um, there's several ways to do different styles of mounts out here. Some people actually put a bolt in right here, not threaded in, but they'll just put a head of a bolt right here that they, that they can adjust, and then they'll have a piece of tubing running over to here. We done this same setup on my GTO. I'll show you guys a picture of that in the film. You can kind of see how that kind of works. Um, I got that idea from Tim McCamus of watching his stuff. Um, it works really, really well if you do not have this mounting hole right here. I've just kind of found for me, it's simpler to bolt off of this. Now, the other way might be just a little bit lighter, but this way is simpler for me and uh, it's super, super strong and it's quicker to take the master cylinder off. Um, so that kind of covers that where we are mounting on the outside of the firewall, that means that we need to have the bracketry mounted to the bottom side of the pedals for the type of pedals that we're using. So for the pedal portion, um, we'll change the camera view here and we'll talk about that. Okay guys, here's kind of an up close view of the pedals here on the inside of the cab. And no, we do not have our tabs tacked on yet. I kind of like to wait until we got the firewall on there. We can get this hole drilled out right here. It's gonna be in the firewall. So we know we've got everything in the correct spot. And most importantly, that the spacing of the pedal is far enough off of the firewall. I wanna make sure that we've got enough throw for the pedal there. 
and throw meaning how much you can push it. I hope that makes sense there. All right. Now, before everybody asks what kind of pedals these are, we sell these on the website, on our ActiveMotorsports.com website. These are really, really good pedals. I like these a lot. I've actually got these same pedals in my race car. We are a dealer for Tim McCamus, and those things work really, really well. Now, linkage. I guess you'd call this linkage on your master cylinder there. I like using a Heim joint. They work really, really well and um, the bracketry and stuff we, this is all stuff that i make in house and uh, it, it works really really well to uh, mount up and make it really really strong just put it in like so if i can get my hand in here to do this <laughs> i apologize guys super professional right now yeah so you can kind of see how all that's going to look right there all this will be welded up here on the pedal and when you push the pedal it pushes it that way and engages the brakes Alrighty guys, uh, let's talk about the reason why I mounted the master cylinder on the outside of the firewall. Okay, um, there's a few things that come to my mind when I think about mounting a master cylinder. Um, it can get very, very complex and you can also cause yourself problems down the road, meaning uh, where you mount things at. So uh, let's get into it here. So number one, I constantly think about heat. Okay, I constantly think about fire and uh, meaning I don't want our break-in fluid to boil. Okay, so you have to be kind of careful how close you get them to your headers. So you want to be aware of that or, and where your headers are going to go. And our application, no, we haven't built them yet, but you can also kind of tell we've got enough room to do what we need to do as well. So th those are all things we need to keep in mind there. Okay. You also have the ability to mount it down low on the firewall as well, but for our particular application, we couldn't do it, so it had to kind of go right here. On top of that, it was kind of weird how things kind of worked themselves out. This was the only place I could mount it because of the way that the pedals are installed and where I've got them mounted up high. And so that all being said, it all kind of worked out good for the best for on all fronts, but this just kind of gives you an example of the amount of things that you got to kind of be thinking about okay is this going to work is this going to obstruct this and just kind of give you guys an idea of hey pay attention where you're going to kind of mount your stuff at or you could build yourself into a corner and it could be bad so uh, let's talk about some other examples of mounting your master cylinder in the floorboard i've got a few vehicles we can talk about on that and also mounting their master cylinder down low on the firewall we can look at my GTO for that example as well. So let's go look at this stuff. Okay guys, I hope you guys can see how this one is kind of set up here. This is a floor mounted master cylinder. We've kind of got the same situations going on here again. You know, we've got our quarter inch main plate and then we got a little bracket over here going down to one of the bottom frame rails to bolt all this in together. Very strong situation, but you can see it is in the floor. Now, this works really well. It's very easy to do this right here. It's very easy to get everything bolted up, to get your linkages put in and all that good stuff. It's, it's very, very simple to do, but it is in the floorboard. It is in the way of your feet and you do have to kind of build a subfloor to cover up your linkages so your feet aren't in the way of this particular situation here. So, I just kind of wanted to show that and give an example of mounting in a floorboard and what that kind of looks like there. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. Now, let's go talk about the GTO of how I mounted the master cylinder on that one as well. Okay, guys, y'all know what vehicle we're looking at right now. This is the full metal goat. Oh, yeah, she's a little rusty right now. We've got a lot of stuff we need to do here. But give y'all a little quick glimpse of those uh, bad boy 800 pound per hour injectors there yeah atomizers Woo, some bad boys anyway so let's talk about the master cylinder here yes it's on the firewall yes it's mounted down low why did we do that well a couple situations here number one couldn't mount it up high because of the headers headers would have been right in the way number two because of the type of pedals that we have in the car so let's look at the pedals real quick y'all have to excuse the mess that's inside the car i've been full sand on working on fittings and all kinds of hoobla so uh let's look at it here okay guys we are inside the full metal goat 
Oh yeah, TSR transmission, boom. We got our aerospace billet components there, billet shifter. Ooh, oh yeah, we're looking good. Anyway, so back, back to what we're talking about here. Sorry, I get excited when I talk about the GTO here. All right, so we've mounted it on the inside of the car here and I keep wanting to say on the inside of the car. I don't, why, I don't know why I keep doing that, folks. Anyways, we've mounted it on the low side or the bottom side of the firewall and our pedal main shaft is on the inside of the floorboard down low okay so all that being said it's kind of complicated here in my vehicle because of how big i am i could not mount this main shaft up high most door cars normally have the main shaft meaning this shaft right here that the pedal is connected to okay is mounted in the floorboard okay it's kind of like the simplest place to do it most people actually put the master cylinder back here between your legs and the floorboard personally i just don't like to do it that way you're constantly tripping over it and it's it's just in the way i don't like it there that's one of the main reasons why i mounted it outside as well and so i only had two choices outside down low or inside in the way preferably i wanted outside down low and just out of the way now some people will actually put a remote reservoir on that like we were talking about before and you'll see on some door cars there'll be like a little reservoir right here with a hose ran down the inside of there that, that's the reason for that but anyways hope that kind of gave you guys some different uh, examples of what i was going on there excuse the mess been super busy on working on all this stuff and uh Lord, we got so much work to do, but we got to get back to it. Okay, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to look down below on YouTube. Make sure you are subscribed. Uh, that helps us out a ton. Um, definitely, every time you guys comment down below, whether it's just a thumbs up or just a, hey, Houston, how you doing? How's Jesse doing? What are y'all up to? Those comments helps out our videos a ton and we are seeing it big time. So thank you guys so much for commenting down below. Lastly, sharing our YouTube videos. Man, every time you guys share, huge, huge help. So thank you guys so much, everyone who's on Facebook, everyone who's sharing our YouTube videos, all of it through Instagram, everything. Thank you guys so much for that. It helps us out a ton, that's, that's helping this dream of mine, building this business up, building my GTO, going racing, building these cool race cars, you know, it, it's, it's bringing all that true and it helps get my name out there. It helps get the business name, Kilby Motorsports out there. So we cannot thank you guys enough for that. You guys rock. So till next time, y'all have a good one and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. Be sure to check out our new website, kilbymotorsports.com for all your high performance needs. If you like this video, be sure to smash that subscribe button. It helps us out a ton. Till next time, you guys have a good one.